Hello, Deep Value community. Thank you for watching. As always, this is our value investing journey. So please subscribe so you can get my next video installment. Today, I want to address margin of safety. What is a company's margin of safety when making an investment? So the first part of the, var of the margin of safety is to understand your realistic circle of competence. Now, it's very, very difficult to find the next Amazon, the next Apple. These are very, very difficult businesses to find. They're very, very rare businesses. We all know those two free names. They're household names. The majority of businesses are not those two or three. The majority of businesses are average businesses with average prospects. So you've got to be realistic what you understand about certain businesses. Your understanding of certain businesses will not necessarily be the same as my understanding. So it's important to stick within your circle of competence while at the same time working extremely hard to venture outside of it, but being humble and being reflective enough to understand that there are risks involved in going outside your circle of competence, and at the same time that there are risks involved in staying solely within a very small circle of competence. Now, this may jar certain people, but the world is very quickly getting disrupted. For example, let's say that you were very good at understanding retail operations. Retail is going through a very disruptive period. So whatever understanding of retail you had as a consumer 10 years ago, it, it, has, it has very small applicability today because the world is changing. The same with newspapers. You might have understood which newspapers had strong potential strong competitive advantages a strong moat but even buffett today will acknowledge that it's difficult for the bulk of of newspapers so it's important to try to stick to businesses that are understandable businesses that are in your circle of competence and businesses that are largely predictable now Whenever you make an investment, it is highly likely that over your holding period, it will fall by 50%. This is the reality. If, this, if there was ever a time when markets were not so volatile, it doesn't matter anymore. Today's markets are highly volatile. You are very likely to have an investment that is going to come down by 50%. So you, to see your investment fall by 50% is part of the investment journey. This is the reality. What Charlie Munger talks about is that if you're not willing to react with equanimity to a market price decline of 50% two or three times a century, you're not fit to be a common shareholder and you deserve the mediocre results you're going to get compared to the people who have the temperament. Now, Here's the thing, when Charlie was investing, markets most likely were not as volatile as they are right now, because right now it's not two or three times in a century, even the biggest investments like Apple will every two or three years appear to be falling by 50%. So it is, you have to have the temperament, you have to understand that this is part of your investment journey and that businesses will have strong sell-offs. The next thing that I think is worthwhile talking about, and I've got another video which will hopefully come up soon, is that you have to have a time horizon in your mind. It needs to be at an absolute minimum two to three years, absolute minimum. So that's between you investing today. You have to be able to not touch that capital for approximately three years. So if your time horizon is shorter than that, you're most likely 
taking a punt or you're speculating and that is not the way to compound wealth to compound wealth to save capital for your retirement for whatever project you want to do around your house that takes time so it's this is a business you know so if you're making an investment it's the same as you running that business you're the owner of that business George Soros says that making money is boring and if you're having fun you're probably gambling so you need to understand that if you're making an investment you're trying to defer into the future your capital so that it's worth more at some point in the future now often cases you will lose capital when you're making an investment in your portfolio but if you're feeling excited and you're like oh this is going to be the next so and so that is not the way to approach investing you have to approach investing from a from a side of humility you got to be like socrates says know that you don't know the problem with the future is that it's unpredictable and things tend to go wrong at the worst possible time so you got to be able to leave a large margin of safety big investments that are easy now what does this mean this means don't go after let's say a cannabis stock that is just like soaring ahead or the new fad of today high growth businesses are very very unstable they're unstable because of the following reasons the more they grow the more difficult it is for them to compound the growth ahead the majority of businesses get impacted by what is called the law of large numbers it's more and more and more difficult for a business even a large successful business like amazon to keep growing at approximately 20 percent it's very very difficult next high growth businesses attract a lot of competition wall street will not let that business grow with let's say 50 percent year over year over year without coming up with some kind of copycats so a way to do this i in my opinion is to go for slightly smaller caps less followed caps i also believe that most businesses are average businesses and then most businesses are cyclical there may be some businesses in the software world where there's the illusion which i don't agree with but there's the illusion that they've defeated the economic cycle we're going to see this right now in 2020 how this actually they have not beaten the economic cycle but we'll say that for a few months ahead what i'm trying to say is that most businesses are cyclical so try and invest in businesses when they're out of favor combination of small cups and cyclical businesses are very fertile ground for investing so i believe being quite selective amongst the small caps right at this moment 2020 where the small caps have been utterly demolished but being selective studying the businesses not being rushed and employing a margin of safety will allow the investor to do well over time now the margin of safety it just demanding a fat marginal error because things tend to go wrong in investing well at the worst possible time and if you study businesses try and get businesses that are very very predictable businesses that have a strong demand not necessarily high growth they can just be doing growing slightly more than inflation in fact i believe that this is its best type of business the businesses that have been through many cycles and they just kind of tick along they don't have a lot of customer concentration they have their customer base is nicely diversified so try and pick businesses that are durable businesses that have slightly expanding margins over time so try and pick out businesses that literally throw off a significant amount of free cash flow what charlie Munger calls i don't want all my profit to end up in the yard in, in the yard he wants businesses that don't have to reinvest 
large amounts of capital to grow. You just want the businesses ticks just froze away capital, just froze away, just froze away, and it's using that excess free cash flow to buy back shares. This is the really the best type of business, and often it's very easy, especially nowadays, to pick these businesses, these fallen angels that have come down aggressively, and the market has just thrown away businesses indiscriminately without um, thinking about where this business actually has a specific need ahead so i believe that picking businesses with that have fallen in favor businesses that make a lot of free cash flow not paying a large multiple for it and waiting for two to three years makes for a rewarding investment opportunity and as always please subscribe to get my next video installment thank you so much for watching bye